Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video and in this one I wanted to talk about something that I know a lot of players are probably messing up right from day one. Same thing would happen with Chaos Or. Now we have Artifact Ascension and I bet you players are throwing tons of <laughs> resources to wave. So let's talk about it. So the patch came out right and as you might have noticed already doesn't matter for early game or late game or end game, whatever you are in playing raid. Now you have a way to ascend your max artifacts, the six pieces up here, not the accessories, not yet, but you'll be able to, once it's level 12 and higher, you'll be able to use your oils, right? Your different levels of oils to then ascend your artifacts. And it shows you right here, the different percentages you know, you get HP, HP percentage, attack, attack percentage, defense, defense percentage, and accuracy and resist. The boots can actually get speed, which is pretty nutty because people are probably going to probably be doing that first, right? Trying to get extra speed on their actual speed. That's the only, that's the only pieces that I could actually think of people going right from the get-go and seeing what they get, right? And be like, oh, am I going to get speed? Is this speed boots actually going to be pretty good that has like double accuracy or triple accuracy substat roll? But hold on, I'm not going to be rolling nothing. I'm not going to be ascending anything. Three reasons. One, you know you can do artifact enhancement, right? And there's event for it. What if ascending stuff up on, you know, if your artifacts can give you CVC points? Or what if there's going to be an ascension enhancement event? Right? What if you get, what if, or what if it combines with artifact enhancement event? Do we get points for that? So I'm already, I'm not even going crazy like what people did with their chaos or right from the get go, just oaring every single thing. These are, you know, you could, you could argue it's not as rare. So I'm just going to use it because it only takes energy. But most players are not going to be able to get tons of this anyways. It costs a lot of energy, which you probably need to be use, using that energy for get your, you know, iron twins for your blessing. You're probably going to need them to master your champions because unfortunately you're not like someone like me who wants, who instantly masters their champions because I'm not going to sit there and spend 2k energy every time one champion need a master. Sorry, that's the pleasure I get. But if that's you, then you're going to have to do that. Um, but I don't also don't want to ascend anything because I'm going to look for the best gear, the best gear on my account that could no matter what it would roll, like in a certain situation, like if I found like a god piece, like let's say in lethal, Right, this is not a god piece. This is pretty bad. But let's just say that was a um, that was triple crit rate or triple crit damage, right? Instead of just a HP percentage, then I would be like, you know what? Now I want to come see what this is gonna give me. That's what I would particularly do. Now, in terms of the actual um, Sand Devil's ne Necropolis, <laughs> man, it's hard. It is intense. <laughs> Get to fourteen. Um, I haven't really pushed myself. I was at work just doing auto. But I got to 14, and then my team on auto wiped. And I was like, wow. Okay, so I got almost halfway. There's still a lot more to go. But everyone has been saying that everyone should be farming like uh, 10 to, I would say, I will say basically 10 to 13. Because I noticed after 9, once you get up to the, you know, greater oil, lesser oil, and then the superior oil, right? Once you get to that first greater, I notice it, it changes a lot. Now, that's because of the, the sleep timer, right? Different diff uh, stages of difficulty. There's going to, right? So that's going to change in terms of speed tuning or how many hits you can do. But I've been seeing most people talk about um, from, from 10. I personally, most people have a lot of magic champions. So I would say just do 11. You know, most people are going to, or 12 if you don't care about the affinities or anything like that. Blah, blah. So I've noticed it hasn't been that bad. 13 was pretty hard. It was pretty challenging. It took, as you can see, look how much time it actually took, right? So it starts to scale. The scaling is not that bad until I got to 13. And I was like, whoa, it's, it like jumped up. And then 14 instantly killed me. So yeah, I would instantly do 10 to 12 if that's what you're going to be doing. Um, am I going to push further? Yeah, easily, easily going to push further. I'm going to, I'm going to try to actually try to see if I can get at least 70 to 20 on like an auto, on an auto farm, even if it takes me forever. I don't care. You can always run it overnight. People always say I should use the RSL helper anyways, or probably auto click overnight. This might be the only time in raid where I might have to actually keep my computer on and I might actually sacrifice 
and might have to actually think about going back to those type of things because this is such <laughs> intense. You know, it's not like Iron Tense, at least you die, you die, or you you beat it. This is like, bro, I can see some some certain fights going on for like 15 to 20 minutes. If you're not bringing enemy max HP, if you're not bringing sleep champions, if you're not bringing revive on death, if you're not making sure you, you have Geo, but then you have to make sure that it works with Geo because he gets screwed over. There's just a lot. There is a lot when it comes to this done. And I think, honestly, it might be hard because we don't have the other part. Once you have Artifact Ascension and you have Accessory Ascension, it's going to eventually argue, you will, you know, you'll send most of your artifacts on most of your champions and it'll make it a lot better, especially HP champions. The boss does decrease max HP, right? To an extent. But it's mainly ignoring buffs, you know, like block damage, unkillable. It's ignoring defense. So I'm starting to wonder if a lot of HP champions are going to start becoming very prevalent here, especially. Everyone's been talking about, um, you know, uh, one of the rare champions that everyone has been using for, um, which is Muck Stalker, right? He's an HP champion with a lot of HP for rare. An insane amount of HP for rare. Okay, that's like epic level. Sometimes even Lego level. So it's pretty nuts. And it's on a two-turn cooldown for two turns. So you basically can keep infinitely sleeping as long as there's no active buffs. But the boss doesn't really give buffs to himself. So that's, that's the best part about that champion. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys, what are you doing with Artifact uh, Ascension? I'm not going to be doing it. I'm probably going to be, I'm going to be hoarding like thousands legit. I'm going to have like probably 2K here, maybe even like 3K here. I'm not going to, I'm going to actually sit there. And it, when you, when you think of cleansing, now you have to think about when you cleanse, right? Like gear cleanse, right? You might think, well, this could be like, before do you, before you cleanse a piece, even though it's like a double roll, not a triple roll, do you have to now? get it to 12 then you have to do one little one little ascension of of an artifact ascension just to see even though it did the substats didn't give you amazing but now the artifact ascension stats turn out to be amazing do you then sacrifice the substat for the extra ascension bonus does it cancel out does it become better i guess we'll have to see in my opinion i try i'm going to still try to play the game like it's just an added bonus I'm not going to let it control my account. As an end game player, I don't really want to like, or I guess you could call me late game, but um, I just, I don't want to really control my whole situation. And I feel like a lot of people are going to spend lots of energy and a lot of time getting RNG'd by the Ascension bonus. It's supposed to help you out, but it's not supposed to stress you out. You know, it's supposed to power, empower your artifacts to make them better. Maybe because they maybe didn't get high rolls you got low roll, so maybe by getting an ascension will give you something a little bit more oomph, right? And you know the beautiful part of it? It doesn't take silver. Just like silver takes, you know, to level up a piece of gear, you don't, it doesn't take anything. It just takes oil. And unlike, uh, unlike uh, Chaos Ores, like that are very rare, I mean, depending on where you are in the game, you're probably not going to see them as much, right? These, you can easily farm them. You can easily just go to a dungeon. I feel like raiding today, and boom, there you go. So overall, I think it's an amazing um, feature to the game. It actually equalized a lot of uh, gear. You could have insane gear, like 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 best in slot, but if it doesn't ascend, it ascends flats, it's still a best in slot piece. It's just not the most optimal piece now for the new end game. So... <laughs> Which is kind of interesting how it equalizes like mid game players, late game players, and end game players, and it kind of like goes, well, whatever your gear you have, let's see who gets better. So I think it's a good thing. Honestly, it does. Because someone could come into the game. I've seen people come into the game and get 300 speed within the first month. And I'm like, how did you do that? Getting super lucky on speed triples, quads, you know, doubles. And then, you know, maybe they spend a little bit of money and they're able to get faction war speed glyphs and boom. They get to that level. I'm like, wow. I could never imagine back in the days of old raid having that much speed or being able to get these many stats. So we have been getting a lot of power creep in terms of, you know, like uh, Guardian Ring, the empowerments, right? The empowering champions, the Guardian Ring having multiple dupes. Um, and now we're getting, of course, Artifact Ascension, and we're going to eventually get accessory asc asc ascension so when you think of these things you're like dang 
the game is getting really scaled, right? Um, they haven't really changed anything to the Great Hall yet, and I think that's a good thing for now because it's, there's a lot coming up that's changing the game that's really scaling it. Um, people might think, well, what's going to happen now? Like, is there is just, is just going to be a never-ending trend where we're always just going to have to grind, grind? No, I actually think this is just necessary. Think about it. If Hydra was that hard, right, and there's going to be another clan boss, right, and they're including probably other Doom Tower uh, rotations, and we have new bosses. You need to have something to help out new players, old players, to have a reason to keep grinding or to keep playing the game. But you also have to have a reason for them to want to, you know, invest like leveling up gear, um, regearing champions, and finding new ways, you know, finding new strategies. Will someone wear all flat gear and try to roll flat gear to see if they get percentages instead? Instead of vice versa, could that be a strategy? Can flat gear now that gets percent? Can it be a thing on champions that have very low scaling? Because there's no point, like a, like a Sinesha, for instance. If you put, um, I'll give you an example. Like if you go to Sinesha, right? She has really bad low scaling attack. So is that going to be a thing where now you go flat attack and then you go percentage afterwards and you wear a flat chest? You know what I mean? Do you, you see what I'm saying? Like, is that going to be a strategy that people are going to actually try? Is there going to be new ways to gear? Do we have to change the way we gear cleanse? That's pretty nuts, man. I don't. I'm going to still stick to what I'm doing for now. Um, if you guys have anything you want to tell me in the comments below, if you guys already splurged all your energy or or if you've done all your artifact incension and you got trash or you got good stuff, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be hoarding it. I'm probably not going to start using it until. They tell us real real time arena comes out. I might hold off for a about a month or two. Legit, I'm gonna farm the dungeon, but I'm not gonna artifact to send anything anytime soon, unless something else happens in the game. But anyways, thank you Raiders. I'll see you in the next Raid Shadow Legends video. Bye bye.